Yes, your boy Crypto Blood, and welcome to another episode of Mind Two Satoshi's. It is September 14, 2020. Shout out to my man Wired Sparks again, one of my YouTube Premium members for the song request for today. We've got Big Crit, Children of the World. Big Crit is a very underrated rapper, guys. If you're not familiar with him, please check him out. He does his own beats and he raps. It's just crazy how talented that guy is. Shout out to Wire Sparks for picking that good music. He's definitely got an ear for it. What's going on, people? Welcome to another episode. Today, we are going to be looking at, yes, it's yam time again. I don't know if you guys recall, if you've been following me for a while, I gave you the play three, four weeks ago on yam i told you guys to get yam when it was like 30 cents i told you why it wasn't in just because i was looking at the tokenomics and, and seeing how you know they had a glitch in their code one line messed the whole project up and that was not a reason to bail on the project so i took a gamble on that project bought them at 28 25 cents bought some at 35 38 cents but i don't know if you guys recall i did post this on youtube three weeks ago as you can see right there I said it's just getting started and that was at 72 cents today yam is at 34 dollars and it was as high as 50 dollars a few weeks ago and we're going to talk about why i think this thing is on another tear up guys i'm talking about multiple x's on this one i believe coming up of course nothing is guaranteed but i'm just looking at how things are setting up we're going to talk about what announcement they made today that made it go up uh 44 at this point and look at that i just gave you documentation over and over again where yam was and how it was going i think i even posted when yam hit 30 dollars i said if you're reading this it's probably too late well it's not yam v2 has been audited and they're getting ready to migrate to the final yam v3 token which we'll we'll get into the details on what that all means and we're going to also talk about some technical analysis i want to go over with you guys today this article kind of supports what i'm talking about as well plan b says it's time to go up and we'll take a look at his stock to flow model that he kind of coined for bitcoin the model has been around for gold and other precious metals for quite some time but he kind of tweaked it and made it applicable to bitcoin and we'll take a look at what he's saying and where he believes bitcoin will be going soon remember plan b was actually saying that we would see two hundred and thirty thousand dollar bitcoin within 365 days so in a year that was a few months ago but still his model is pretty spot on to be honest with you i wasn't a follower of it still am not but it seems to be a very accurate model and then lastly this is some real news that most crypto shillers out there channels won't tell you or even won't even know to tell you about these are the types of things you need to pay attention to sec updates its accredited investors terms this is important because this could potentially open up the floodgates for much more investment money to come into the crypto space. We'll see if this has any relation to that. I saw the headline and I see it's on a crypto site. So we're going to take a look at this out of Crypto Daily. This may be important from a macro perspective for you guys to understand what's going on and prepare for. You want to get ahead of the curve. And these are the types of things that will help you do that. All three articles coming up on today's episode of my two Satoshis. Let's get it. But before we start, if you guys find these types of videos informative, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and click that bell to receive more videos like this. And I want you guys to check out Crypto University. This is a great tool for anyone looking to dip their toes into the crypto scene for a very low cost. They've got various classes that you guys can take a crack at. The, tra the trading mastery class, investing mastery class, and the Bitcoin basics. I really suggest the Bitcoin basics for maybe people you guys know that need to get an understanding of Bitcoin in a very easy and low cost manner this is a great one for you bitcoin basics so check them out i'll leave a link in the description below cryptouniversity.us let's take a look at the heat map green today we got bitcoin up 3.6 percent trading at 10,684 bucks ethereum up 3.8 percent currently at 376 dollars ontology is up big time today looks like about 17 percent neo is up big as well not sure what's going on with those two projects but overall we got green days for sure litecoin up 1.9 percent trading at $48.91. Shout out to my man, John Kim. He called in <laughs> Friday for the Telos giveaway. We had a great conversation. If you missed that, make sure you check it out. And I will be doing another 1,000 Telos giveaway in about two weeks. So make sure you guys sign up. Use the link in the description below. Create yourself an account and send me your account name plus the hashtag Telos to enter. And I will do a random pick in about two weeks. But what I want to show you guys is this important breakout that we saw occur a few hours ago when Bitcoin 
look at this this is critical information right here we saw a break above this green dotted line at 10,507 roughly give or take but what I want to show you guys are the rejection points that we saw that's two that's three we can group that together four and the final one that actually blew above where really this was the one that we needed to get above all right and that was at 10,638 roughly that was the major one we needed to break above and since we have done that this may become an area of support here as you see we've bounced off of that already but I think this is a good sign for us to at least by the minimum to see a support now at 10,500 once again and we should see us start to head for that 11,600 region at some point in the next few days so this is good news i think it's bullish news in my opinion and then we'll take a look at what plan b is uh talking about that kind of backs up this whole move as well so i just want to give you the cb technical analysis on that but let's take a look at what the sec has just done they've updated the accredited investor terms so before this news specific investors that do not meet the needed income tests have been turned down the chance to invest in the sec's wide range of private markets the united states security and exchange commission just adopted changes to the definition of the accredited investor term quote unquote jay clayton who is the chairman of the u.s sec said with the following today's amendments are the product of years of effort by the commission and its staff to consider and analyze approaches to revising the accredited investor definition so the changes in this update improve the definition to more identify institutional and individual investors in a much more efficient way especially those that have the knowledge and skills to get involved with these markets the chairman goes on to say guys for the first time individuals will be permitted to participate in our private capital markets not only based on their income or net worth but also based on established clear measures of financial sophistication this is huge news guys i'm telling you this is big news and about damn time because you'll they'll let you go play the lottery which you have very very low odds of winning they'll let you throw your money away at that but when you have a person that's trying to uh invest in certain private rounds of equity raises and so on and so forth the individual that doesn't make x amount of money per year and don't have assets of a million dollars or more can't participate why is that that makes no sense they're not protecting us when they do that type of stuff so it says with these changes investors will be able to qualify as accredited investors based on defined measures of professional knowledge and experience furthermore these amendments will also expand the list of entities that could meet the requirements for accredited investors this could include allowing anybody that can meet an investment test to continue this is great news again so they, they break down a couple of details here one being spousal equivalent so then that allows you and your spouse to pull your uh, finances together right and uh, qualify for accredited investors also family offices with at least five million are now eligible for this as well and some other ones that you guys should check out and i bring that up for two reasons one being now you should go ahead and look into whether or not you meet some of these criteria because then that allows you to invest in certain things that you wouldn't have been able to do in the past that really that's where the real returns are and then secondly this should allow you to understand that you're going to see more and more money come into the crypto space and secondary markets as well markets that existed for only the really really wealthy to participate in before a stock hits the uh, publicly traded status right so this is uh i wanted just to let you know there are a lot of projects in the crypto game that uh, are running under this accredited investor scheme so you may be open to that now i wanted to give you guys a heads up on that and to check that out a little bit further but let's take a look at what is going on with plan b and his hundred thousand dollar push for bitcoin the original stock to flow model is calling time on bitcoin's phase at around ten thousand and it's not been wrong so far it looks like it's high time for bitcoin to begin its next significant price rise the creator of one of the best known btc price models says in a tweet on september 4th quant analyst plan b highlighted increasing signs that bitcoin versus the dollar is due to repeat historical gains and this is referring to the original incarnation of his stock to flow model plan b said that the time was right to begin an order of magnitude step up and i quote he says this is the 2019 time series model on historical btc data only no gold or silver or diamonds real estate etc was used and as you guys can see from this stock to flow model it has been kind of spot on and you'll see the gaps right you see the gaps where bitcoin jumps out ahead of it 
and we're in that red zone where it's time for Bitcoin these red dot plots if you look at previous ones that's when Bitcoin really starts to jump out ahead of the actual stock to flow model so he says you see the jump in model value at the beginning the white line and corresponding drop in s2f multiple model errors those are the white dots it's time to go up and the article goes on to say that the original s2f chart differs from the more recent stock to flow cross asset model which incorporates macro factors and introduces phases in bitcoins metamorphosis as an asset it calls for an average bitcoin price and this is what i was talking about guys of two hundred and eighty eight thousand dollars before 2024 when asked where the source of funds for this next move was going to come from plan b highlighted in a blog post about s2f and confirmed that his hypothesis remained valid it would be silver gold countries with negative interest rates countries with predatory governments billionaires and millionaires hedging against quantitative easing and institutional investors well, that makes sense to me. And we literally just talked about institutional investors and that accredited investor term being updated and loosened. I think that is a perfect storm for all of this to come to fruition. So we'll see what happens. But I got to give you guys those updates on the S2F because it is spot on pretty much. I'm not going to lie. So you saw Bitcoin pop today. I think you're going to really start to see Bitcoin make that move higher and test this trend line here that 11,600 is where we are headed in my opinion but i will say we will have to get past this line right here first which is around 11,100 dollars so i think we may run into some resistance there take a pause or maybe a slight pullback and then head higher to really test the ultimate trend line of 11,600 and then we're off to the races i believe so if you see bitcoin really start to go ham where do you think these DeFi markets are going to be it's just going to be insane it's going to be insane so i hope you guys are positioned for the move up but speaking of DeFi, yes crypto diamonds pick from three four weeks ago you guys should be sitting on a big bag if you listen to my moves in buying yam when it was down 99 percent because of one line of code that was in error it wasn't a scam token it wasn't anything like that it was a solid team and i and i kind of parsed through that and realized that and those are the times where you guys can get tokens and assets at a discount because the market has overreacted in that news and that's exactly what happened with the yam and i don't know if you guys know that sushi swap is actually using yams interface it borrowed yams interface for its sushi swap platform the master chef so interestingly enough, the Yam V2 token is on the Sushi Swap pool. But let's take a look at what they're talking about. Replanting Yam, the migration and launch. So after a long and eventful month since the original launch of Yam, they are excited to announce the fully functional and audited Yam protocol that will be launching on Friday, September 18th. The replanting of Yams comes after an active and thoughtful interim governance period during which the community came to consensus on all key issues for v3's launch so again the key dates you want to look out for guys is this friday september 18th and the yam yusd lp incentives will go live on the 19th that's huge because that's the yearn usd uh stable coin lp all right that's big that's big news right there the first rebase will occur on monday which is the 21st so those three dates you guys need this is going to be an active weekend coming up for yam and i think you guys are really going to see yam take a nice move up i'm telling you guys so the the key thing you need to pay attention to with yam to v2 to v3 is that there's a one-to-one -one migration there's no deadline and there will be 50 percent immediately redeemable and 50 percent continuously vested over 30 days and what you guys need to understand is that yam has a supply currently of 3.7 million tokens i think the overall max supply can only be 6 million tokens that is nothing so a $32 token right now with only 6 million max. Guys, this thing should be in the hundreds of dollars for sure. Oh, we'll have to see what happens though. You heard it here. And that's pretty much it for today, ladies and gents. Shout out again to my guy, Wire Sparks, for the song request, Bit Crit, Children of the World. If you found this video informative, guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And click that bell to receive more videos like this. I'm out of here. Ha! Nigga fell showing goddamn, but he's right.